What's up, Pisces? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Pisces, Summer and Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look into your love life to see what messages may come through for you. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for Pisces, Summer and Rising Venus, and love. I hope that you're doing well, and if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that is in the description down below. If you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me at jstankshow. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that is in the description down below. So let's get right into this reading and see what messages Spirit has for you regarding your love life. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance. You know how it goes. Messages for Pisces in love for the month of May. What's going on for my Pisces in the month of the month <laughs> the month of May? Pisces, Summer Rising Venus regarding their love life. What's going on for my Pisceans in love? Messages for Pisces. That's too many. I'm not going to take that stack. But messages for Pisces. We have the Five of Pentacles coming out. We also have Strength coming out. Seven of Wands. Oh my god, these cards. They're just talking. Three of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Wands. Okay, let me get one more. The cards are talking. The Mother of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. The tem uh, sorry, not Temperance. The Devil. Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Empress reverse. And the Five of Cups. Oh, and the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Um, it seems to me like you have gone through some sort of loss. You've had to walk away from something in your life that... Or not something, a relationship. This is your love rating. So you had to let go of a relationship that was toxic. We do have the devil and the two of cups out here. So something about a relationship in your life was just not healthy. It was very draining. And like when when things were good, things were real good. It was like there were highs. But when things were bad, the lows were so freaking low. Anyway, so um it shows that you're coming out of this situation. You're you're coming out stronger, better, healthier, happier. But it does show here, Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Empress reverse, like nothing is coming out of this situation. It seems like there's a dead end. It seems like it's kind of like a seed you planted never grew or it never grew to what you thought or imagined it was going to become. Again, kind of goes back to having high expect high ha, uh, having high expectations. For some reason, I can't speak in your reading. <laughs> I had no problem in the other readings I did today, but for some reason, sitting down doing your reading, I feel tongue tied. Yeah. Anyways, so you may have had expectations or you imagined a future of what it could have been or could become and it appears like whatever sprouted wasn't what you had hoped for or nothing came out of the situation at all it kind of was just like a waste of energy <sighs> you feel with the father of swords you feel more like detached or like, you're not really allowing yourself to get emotional about the situation. I think you're really working on self-care, nurturing yourself, taking good care of yourself, providing for yourself. But it appears here, I don't know why I keep saying appear. Why am I saying that? That's so weird. Um, three of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Wands. Like a, a partnership, a relationship. Four of Wands talks about partnerships, right? It's just, it's not being worked on. There's no energy that you're putting towards this anymore. You're no longer investing in some sort of relationship. Like you and a person are just constantly butting heads or you no longer get along or it's, it's just, it's just not working. I kind of feel like you're, you're, you chose to go your separate ways. Even with the Seven of Wands like maybe whoever you were dealing with wanted to be wanted you to be something you weren't wanted you to change 
to fit into a mold or to like to change yourself so that they would like you or vice versa. Maybe you wanted them to change in a way that fit with what you were searching for. Either way, it doesn't matter which end. At the end of the day, like, it just didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. And there's something, there's just, there's loss. Um, I feel like, I think Capricorn had something to do with loss. I know Sag did, and Ge not Gemini, Virgo did. So there's been a few signs that have been experiencing similar situations. Okay, so you may have some of those placements in your natal chart. But with the Five of Pentacles out here, there's loss. Nothing can grow from this. It's complete. Like, this rose is dead. It is shriveled, and it's not coming back. So it's kind of like the relationship. Like, it's done. It's over. And, yeah. Ah, the romance is kind of dead. We look at strength. Leo energy. He has a rose in his mouth, and I always see this card in this deck, like, super romantic, super passionate, super driven, um, there's such a spark, there's a strong attraction, and the fact that we have the Five of Pentacles showing that same rose, except now it's dead, it's crusty, it's dropping its leaves, it's like, for some, the romance is dead. Like, the, the connection, the even romantic feelings you may have had for an individual, they've gone, they're have gone, they gone, they faded out, and you no longer feel the way you used to feel for some reason. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else, because I kind of talked about all the cards out here. Those are the main messages we have in this reading. Let's, I'm going to pull a couple more cards and see if there's any other messages that need to come through before we clarify anything. If we need to clarify anything. Let's see. Oh, look. And we also have the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands, right? I forgot about that. And the Eight of Cups. So it's like, yeah, there's sadness. There's sadness. Um, the Ten of Cups, sorry, the Ten of Wands is reversed. So it's telling me that you've released this or you are releasing this in May. But May is almost over. So again... Whenever you come across this, it appears like you have released this or you are currently releasing this. Releasing your emotions too with the Five of Cups. So releasing any of that emotional buildup. But yeah, let me see. What else do my Pisces need to know about their love life for the month of May? your emotions for a person are dying like yeah the imagery that i'm getting it's just like when you plant a seed and it might sprout and it sprouts and you're like oh my god something's actually growing from this okay cool let's see where this goes and then you try to you continue to take care of it but it's like it dies like it doesn't matter what you could have done like it just for some reason it just died like that's kind of what this feels like like you tried to make this work but for some reason it just it died like it just feels like it's it died like bro i have no other words for for this all right what's this card we have the ten of wands reverse yeah you're releasing this like you're kind of like okay i did what i could but it's just not meant for me, clearly. That's what it feels like. It's just this whole situation. Oh my god, justice. Lessons are being learned from this. Libra energy. Messages for... That was too many. Uh, that was me. Not too many. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a stat that fell out. We had the seven of cups reverse, actually. Okay, so maybe you got clarity. I'm like, you know what? We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. You may have gotten clarity. Um, let's just see. Is there anything else for my Pisces? Regarding love, we have four of pentacles reverse. Okay, wow. It's kind of telling me the same shit. And the six of cups. Okay, and the hermit. So currently, or as you're going through this, there's a lot that you're reflecting on. Even about the future, we'll get to that, okay? So, just some extra cards that we pulled. Okay. Let me just see. 
as you are detaching as, as your emotions are fading out as you are i feel like you're losing feelings for a person you're losing feelings for a person you're really starting to see someone for who they actually are you know how love can really fucking blind us and we make excuses for someone's behavior or like we tend to overlook the the red flags or you know shit like that because the feelings for that person are so strong we can just like shove them under and okay no big deal right but as you are starting to really see this person just for who they are instead of like over romanticizing what they could have been or like you know having this complete false perspective perception of a person who actually isn't it's it's crazy how our mind can do that that we can like pick and choose and and distort or delete certain memories or feelings to fit a certain perception right our mind can really fuck with us <laughs> but so as you are kind of just like taking a step back and just processing some shit and like especially with the with the hermit of like this reflective introspective energy really just sit with yourself and feeling things out you're like wow this person first of all this person they're just some ordinary human being what's so special about them right if you sit down and really ask yourself what's so special about this person you may have some qualities you may have some things that come to mind or maybe you don't maybe you're realizing like wow this this individual is nothing special this person is just ordinary and i over romanticize the idea of this person right it was in my head <laughs> like for some that's for some that's what you're realizing like wow i made this person way more special in the head than they actually were oh my god they gave me attention they gave me like the bare minimum attention oh my god I'm true love and then you're realizing like you take a step back and like wait a fucking minute that's the bare minimum like that's some breadcrumbs right there like why was i getting so hung up on that shit you know so anyways um we have the six of cups the four of pentacles reverse and the seven of cups reverse so this is indicating to me it's like you're looking back at the past you're looking back in the past with a new perspective and with this new perspective for a pentacles reverse and the seven of cups reverse things are as clear as day crystal clear you know maybe you have scorpio placements in your chart i think this was something that came through in scorpio's reading I don't know their title is something like something 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 crystal clear <laughs> something 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 crystal clear and for you guys it's like yeah it's crystal clear for you too it's like perhaps it's also relating to that eclipse in scorpio that we just had that lunar eclipse in scorpio we had like a uh, last weekend and so typically with eclipses the energy takes a little bit for it to actually play out um or to reveal these things to us in our relationships especially and so you might be starting to notice those themes are playing out now or they're starting to you're starting to have these realizations and your awareness is starting to shift right anyway so the seven of cups and the four of pentacles both coming out reverse it's like you've gotten the clarity and this clarity is helping you detach it's helping you release it's helping you remove yourself and it just like feels freeing really it feels freeing it feels like finally balance um lessons being learned like you're free as a bird Whew. yeah so those are some extra cards oh wait was that at the bottom or i can't no 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 that was at the bottom the hermit stuff okay so those are just some extra cards so we have quite a bit of time is there anything new coming in for you moving away from this past individual let's just kind of take a look into what are you moving towards or what are you what's your, what are you heading into or what you can expect in the near future and then we'll do a little clarifying we might look into like the six of wands so two of pentacles definitely undergoing change transformation you might have oh that's too many spirit too many cards less cards please um, you might have some decisions coming up. We might look into this two of pentacles, see what that could be talking about. But five of wands, 
what can Pisces expect moving forwards? Princess of Wands reversed and the Two of Wands. Okay, so you have some choices. We have a Lover's Choice card, right? Lovers with the Son of Cups and Son of Swords. Emperor, Three of Swords. Mm. Okay. Um, we have two suns out here. Kind of like... Suns talk about like messages coming through, information, conversations, and it seems like it's very quick, very sudden. And it's coming from this Princess of Wands reversed. Or no, could that be your energy? Possibly. It feels like whatever this expression is, this could be a conversation you have, this could be through text message, this could be... I feel like this is like a message coming in. Um, hold on. Kind of like, okay, I have to just throw this out there. As you are removing your emotions from this person, you're detaching yourself from this, you're realizing, wow, this person is just ordinary as fuck. You know, uh, so as you're like, you know what? Not even worth my time. I'm moving forward. I have better things to focus on. I have other options, or I'm deserving of something much better than this shit. As you detach yourself, as you move on from this, you know, we are also in Mercury retrograde. You might hear from a person, that person, right? And for the group that does hear from that person, um, it does leave you feeling kind of scattered with the five of wands feeling scattered confused like what the fuck like why are you messaging me now why are you hitting me up now now that i moved on now that i don't want you you want me it always fucking works that way you always want what you can't have right and then we have the lovers right so for some it's like you might have thought that this person was your soulmate <sighs> or some stupid shit i'm just kidding it's not stupid it's not stupid but you <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, you guys. Um, but again, the Princess of Wands reverse, though, there's just, like, lack of faith, lack of trust, lack of interest, really. Lack of interest. Like, you're not even interested in seeing where this goes because you've been down that road before, right? You have the choice. You have the opportunity. Two of Pentacles, two of Wands. You have the opportunity. Like, okay, maybe I can see where this goes, but... Deep down, the the interest isn't there. You're not really interested. You kind of just want to let this go. Like you tried this before, you planted the seed before, and where did that get you? Disappointed. You had to go through loss. You had to work through detaching. It's like you did not do all of this work to move on from this person just to let them back in and give them a chance, and then possibly go through that again. And like. That's what I'm picking up on. It's like with the Princess of Wands reversed, you're just not interested. The spark is dead. There's no interest. There's no romantic feelings you have for this person left. It just feels like you just fall back into a toxic draining cycle here with the devil. It's kind of just like they sense that you're no longer attached to them. You're no longer giving them the attention. And it's that saying, you always want what you can't have. And... Now that you don't want them, they're like, well, now I want you. It's just, it's a fucking game. It's a game. It's just a game. And then it's like, if you were to be like, okay, let's go. Let's see where this goes. Where are they going to go? They're going to go ghost. Because that's the kind of individual they are. That's the individual I'm picking up on. It's just like, it's the type of person who just, it's cat and mouse. Cat and mouse, you know? It's constantly like the chasing, the push, pull, push, pull. It's just like, for what? For what? It's just, it's not stable. It's not secure. I don't feel there's trust in this. Like, it just, it's just a waste of energy. It just feels like it's a waste of energy. Like, yeah, the devil and then the two of cups is just like constantly getting lured back in, constantly being tempted. 
And like I said, you might get tempted by this person, but is it worth falling back into that trap? Especially after all the effort that you put into moving on, healing, detaching, and, you know, moving in a different direction. Is it really worth going back to the past? Again, that's not for everyone. I'm not saying everyone's going to be hearing from this person, but like, yeah. Anyways, let's focus on the six of wands. Let's see what you're moving towards um, as you're moving away from this, because I am picking up on the energy with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, Empress reverse. You're turning your back on this. You're turning your back on this. There's something better in the future for you. So let's see. Six of Wands. What can you expect? You may also have lots of eyes on you. Lots of people who see you are attracted to you. Who um, You might have lots of options, right? So, Or in the near future, you may have lots to choose from. You might be out busy, dating, mingling with new people, forming new connections, and just out socializing. <clears throat> Spreading your wings. All right, six of wands for Pisces in love. Six of swords reversed. Four of pentacles. These cards are just talking. Eight of wands in the sun. That's what you're rising from. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Six of wands for... I want to call you Sagittarius for some reason. Six of Wands for Pisces. We have Leo energy out here. Double Leo. Eight of Wands for... Who am I? P Pisces. I want to call you Leo. <laughs> Sag, Leo, you might be dealing with a heavy fire sign. Or you may have lots of fire placements. Um, that didn't come out for a reason. Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Hierophant at the bottom. So... What are you moving away from? What are you rising from? What are you leaving in the past as you are spreading your wings? As you're moving into this new energy and you're shifting away from this attachment, from this crappy, toxic, draining, negative cat and mouse game? What are you, what are you moving on from? I mean, that's, it. that's what you're moving on from. <laughs> Literally what I was just saying. Six of Swords Reverse, this is talking about what we were just talking about. <laughs> like what you were holding on to for so long waiting waiting for answers waiting for them to come back around waiting for a second chance waiting on this person to make a move to you know sticks of pentacles reverse there's unrequited energy it was just a waste of time anyways we've, we've talked so much about this you get what i'm talking about but that's what you're leaving behind that's what you're rising from it's like settling for the breadcrumbs and everything that I said prior. We don't need to repeat. Let's not repeat. What are you moving towards? Eight of Wands and the Sun. This is what you're rising towards. Happiness, fulfillment, actually getting and receiving what you deserve. What you want is what you deserve. There's lots of movement in your manifestations. Leo energy, I already mentioned that, didn't I? What else is um, Pisces moving towards? Six of Wands. What else is Pisces moving towards with the Six of Wands? Four of Wands. Yeah, better partnerships, better relationships that are actually valuable. Eight of Pentacles as well. Anything else? Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, and the Tower at the bottom of the deck tower <clears throat> excuse me the tower in this deck it is the top part that is breaking away it's kind of like getting rid of the dead ends um underneath that the four of cups and the queen of wands i feel like there's rejection here or like you again whether this individual from your past whether recent past or a while back past um whether they ever come back around or it's just like you guys finalizing like deciding like i am not going back my emotions for this person are gone they're fading i'm not interested even if they came back around there's no way there's no way i could let myself go back to that i'd be disrespecting myself you know um 
So some of you very soon could be making the decision to block that person, to really close that door, really cement it, like lose their contact information, like simply delete and block. And like, <clears throat> okay, maybe some of you might not block this person, but you might delete their phone number. And like, let's say that they hit you up a few weeks from now. Hey, Pisces. And you'll be like, new phone who dis <laughs> you know <laughs> who's this like and they're gonna be like oh my god pisces deleted my number pisces doesn't know what's me it's like yeah because you moved on you moved on to better things eight of pentacles four of wands moving towards more fulfilling relationships in general not even in just romance but in your friendships and family too i feel like you are coming to a time where you are so supported where you are so loved and appreciated and you're not begging or settling for the breadcrumbs the bare minimum at the end of the day what you're moving towards is just ultimate fulfillment happiness stability appreciation respect like you fucking name it that's what you are coming into as you are getting rid of the crap cutting off those dead ends and you're letting that shit go point blank Whew. so pisces i'm gonna let you guys go i hope that this reading was insightful and that you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments below if you want to book a private reading with me the information for that is in the description and if you want to follow me on instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jadestone tarot i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next one take care